Hi everybody, thanks again for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. Stick is here coming at you with round three of festivities here at Kipper's Malie. We have uh, Sean Miles on the left side of the board coming at us with a, an, an Imperialist or Darth Vader with uh, Foresight homing missiles, afterburners, and fire control system. Is that right? Foresight? Whew. Okay, uh, Seventh Sister with fire control system and soon tier fell with afterburners and predator uh interesting to see seventh sister about i haven't seen mo and many people fly her in the uh tap so be interesting to see how that uh goes whether he'll use her for her ability or whether he's using her for the two force and then uh, across from him we have andrew olsen who is player one he has uh merrick steel with marksmanship fire control and proton rockets darth vader full load with hate fire control system proton rockets and stealth device Ooh, I'm, I'm always always feeling a little weird about that stealth device and then duchess without maneuver because it's really easy for her to get out of our shots so these guys are looks like they are dialed and ready i'm gonna give them a go on their timer and we're gonna get the show on the road gentlemen feel free start your engines may the force be with you Um, X-Wing players, are we ready? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Now? <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Just already running away. I, wow, I did not expect. I, I know, I hear you. She's like, no, no, I don't joust. <laughs> She's like, they don't joust. Yeah, ain't no joust involved here. Yeah. <laughs> and Duchess, kind of moving a bit fast, not super fast. So I believe that ends up being equivalent to five forward with the pre boost. And then a barrel roll to uh, start uh, getting over, get the flank action going on. Here we go. Almost, I'm waiting for those guys to, I'm waiting for those guys at the end to finish up. No, 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 I, I blame him. <laughs> yeah, that's why I blame you. <laughs> Jonas with one of his arcs at a jaunty angle there. That's interesting. <laughs> Don't do that, eh? Trust me, Jonas does not need the handicap. So. <laughs> So, see, Vader just coming up. Uh, Vader and Fell both just going fast. Not quite. Has for these guys, just not for everybody else. I run a separate timer for table one, so. So that was the sweep and set. We're back into planning phase. They are setting down some dials here. Andrew really just committing right away. There's no, 
no extraneous thought here. He's just putting them down. It's I, I swear he's just like dialing something in at random and putting it down. Jesse, you guys ready? Hey. The rest of the play the rest of you X-Wing players are go. Good luck. May the force be with you. Or not, as the case may be. All right, so we are almost a full five minutes into the match now. No shots going into second turn. Okay, dials are down. We got a thumbs up on both sides. Here we go. Seventh sister. Man, this is an Imperial Ace battle. This is going to be great. She's got a hard turn three coming up around that gas cloud. And he's simply going to take an evade token. All right, so we got a Aileron's boost from Duchess. And then she's going to reveal into a forward three. Again, not as super fast as he could but fast enough that he might actually get a shot. And there's the barrel roll and back a bit. Looks like he's trying to make sure that she's going to be able to get in for that flank shot. So Merrick pushing really hard here. Turn three again. Hopefully he's not Invader's way. Looks like he is going to focus and then link that focus into a barrel roll action. And there he is. And then we got Vader with a nice soft one here, just slowly rolling up, keeping his options open. All right, and just focusing up, gonna leave all his force intact. Soon Tier Fell doing a bank three. And looks like Fell doing uh, soon to your things. Hashtag just soon to your things. Weighing out his options right now. Did a quick run to go and take some photos. Oh! 
fell really pushing out. And Vader with a hard turn three. Both players setting up for some real hurt the next round here. Ooh, this is a big oof. I don't even know what I would do in this situation. Oh! Sean is attempting a target lock action. It's not really a failed action because he can still target lock whatever he wants within range. But none of his opponent's ships are within range. It really doesn't matter. All right, and it looks like that's his choice with Vader, is just attempt to target lock, see if he had any shots. And so we are end of activation and beginning of engagement now. So with... Andrew being player one. Wow, no shots from any of the sixes. So now we drop to Merrick, who also no shot. And finally, Duchess. Oh man, that is tight. That is tight. I'm not sure whether it's going to go or not. Oh man. Holy smokes, that is some tight tolerances, boys. <laughs> I really thought there was going to be at least one of you rolling dice this game, this uh, this uh, round, but not so much. Not so much. Millimeter. A millimeter. Man, that was tight. That was beautiful. Oh, boy. This, this could be interesting. Sorry if I got quiet for a moment there, folks. Uh, I'm just, I'm also trying to post pictures on social media here of the event. So I'm, I'm coming in, kind of in and out here, kind of in and out.
All right, we're good. We're into the next set of movement. And Seven Sister just being like, nope, nope, heck nope. Did I mention nope? Because a little nope. That is a lot of nope. He's got himself in a bit of a pickle. He can't boost around because Vader's in the way. He might be able to boost straight, but I'm not sure that he's going to clear that. Dutch is coming around. Oh, it looks like he's trying to get, trying to get into a good spot to get some shots on Vader. Whether or not uh, Sean's going to allow that, we'll see. Vader just slow rolling up, trying to keep that arc open. Also, you know, Merrick is totally in his way, so, you know, going faster is just a dumb idea anyway. Measuring for his target lock. Looks like he's either got Fell or Vader. Vader locks Vader. And he spends a force charge to uh, get a focus as well. And Sean going to reveal his Vader to do a bank three. Oh, my, my, my. That is a hell of a place. Now, you guys may not be able to see this, but Sean has his all up on three posts, so he has the high ground, and I'm pretty sure that's going to give him a bit of an advantage. He's going to barrel roll out. Yikes. Looks like he's going to spend a force charge. To focus up. And then old, good old Suntir Fell coming in from the flank here, doing what he's supposed to do. Bank two, slow and steady wins the race here.
It's not a bad shot. Jess can evade. No, he's rethinking that. Focus it up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a bad idea. He's going to end up with double focuses that way. So that gets us to the end of activation. We get into beginning of engagement. Uh, when does Fell trigger again? Yeah, so Fell's going to definitely have somebody in bullseye. Looks like Andrew's gonna take that range three shot. Hey, Valley, what up? So no proton rocket, but that's just fine. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. Just gonna re-roll that with fire control into focus blank crit. He is, ooh, he's thinking hard. It's gonna hold that focus with just a single blank, uh, single crit coming at uh, uh, Sean's Vader. And disrespect one evade. All right, so now we move into Sean's six. Looks like that is not a shot on Duchess. And fell, range two, unobstructed, and in bullseye. So uh, fell's gonna get that after that uh, predator reroll. Uh, not. Oh, natties! Best strat, just roll three hits, and that's gonna be shields down on Merrick. We'll see how this plays out now. Merrick, looks like not quite. So now he's gonna see, I think Merrick's, I think Merrick uh, still has a shot on um, the Seven Sister. So Merrick, Merrick still has a range three on Seven Sister. Don't, don't rob yourself. There you go. Oh yeah, spends the focus for two. <laughs> Natties! Holy crap, his dice are hot. And Duchess had no shot, right? Yeah, it looks here like she's gonna be out of arc. Like there's no arc? Yeah, okay. Alright. Oh, Invader's uh, um, focus token. Alright, so back into planning. These gentlemen have regen their force. Sean's Vader is in a really good position to come back around in the flank here. I got a really bad 
bad feeling about what's going to happen to Seventh Sister, though. A lot of thought going into these dials. When you're flying a triple ace list one way or the other, you've got to put a lot of thought into where you and your opponent are going to be. So no one with a clear advantage yet. Okay, I think dials are down. Sean just double checking his, no, no, not even double checking, he's ready. We have a hard turn one from Seventh Sister, which is a little surprising to me. Just gonna boost to try and get behind that rock. Okay, that's that makes way more sense. Link focus, yeah. Turning in against uh, Fell there. Oh, taking the target lock. Things getting serious there. Oh wait, was it? Oh no, Duchess is now, that's right. And Duchess with her ailerons to ship left. Hey, what's up? I'm procrastinating from painting, as one does. Uh, as one does, it's so true. <laughs> Wait, I got all these minis to paint? I should go buy more minis. <laughs> well, I have a, I'm doing a Ravenloft one-shot on Monday. Oh, nice. And I have all of like the, the dungeon tiles printed, but I need to paint all the stuff. Yep. And I just haven't. I also need to finish writing it. 
That is a thing. That is definitely a thing. <laughs> wow, Dutch is really pushing in on Fell as well. He really wants to get rid of that red interceptor. <laughs> That's uh, our good friend Andrew Fudge. He uh, runs Warriors Weekend, one of the events that we uh, also run X Wings events at, and uh, is developing his own miniature tabletop game. Uh, based on the uh, Pantheon of Gods. And uh, actually looks really good. He's got some fantastic concept designs. Uh, he's doing some 3D printing and some demos here as well. Uh, so I'll have some pictures of that up on our Facebook uh, come the end of the weekend. Wow, and a K-turn from his Vader. And I'm... Ah, okay, this is surprising. He is just going to go right over it. Yep, yeah, he's going to lose the action from doing a red maneuver anyway, so what's the loss of going over the gas cloud? Nothing. Literally nothing. That's Part of me feels that gas clouds are a little a little degenerate. Sorry? Oh, it was a talent roll. My bad. Sorry. And... Woo! Yeah, how's that going to go? Oh my god, better than I thought. So he got away from Merrick. Oh boy. Ugh. I think I know what I would be doing here. See if my guess is right. He's going to focus and then link boost. And it looks like he is doing this to player right. Oh, very nice. Dodges Duchess's arc, and it looks like he might have a range one on Vader now. <laughs> very, very nice. All right, so we got four dice from Soon Tier Fell into Darth Vader. Ooh, that could have gone better. He's gonna spend it for three. Hit, hit, crit. Andrew rolling his dice, and ooh, that could have gone better too. But it's not bad. That's gonna be one shield on Vader. All right, so we got Vader. So Vader into Duchess here because he's got the target lock on her. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah at that point you just spend it. Oh, I need bad two crits. Oh no, Duchess! No. And so we got damaged engine and weapons failure. Oh, that's terrible. And that finally gets somebody with points on the board. Sean now ahead on 24 points.
surprising when it arrived. You see it? No. Oh. Didn't look through it all. Yeah, bud. And then there's all of this as well. Four stogies. <laughs> wow. They're all brass. Yeah, it's just very solid brass. Nice. Super nice. So that's the way for prizing kit? So, reaching back a bit. You want to talk about Oop. reaching back a bit? Andrew's got dials down. Oh no, that's new. That's new. It's new, it's new. Waiting for that. This should be really interesting. Andrews Vader is in an interesting position. Sean thinking about whether or not to pick up that dial again. Nope, looks like he's good. He's just double checking. You got a thumbs up? Seven sister. Boom. Another hard turn one. Oh, that's close to the rock. Oh man, what is it with people getting like a millimeter from the rock in this uh, today? That has happened like four times in three games. That's beautiful. Really pushing it. And lock on Vader. Ah, it's on your Vader. That's better. We got a hard turn three from Andrew's Darth Vader here. Oh, is that his Merrick? Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right, sorry. Oh, not even, it's a Talon roll three. Bringing it around, getting ready for the next round. Duchess here. Oh, no. 
Just thinking hard about whether or not to pre-boost, I think. And is going to pre-boost. He's splitting his ships up a bit here. And revealing a forward one. Oh no, sorry, the K-turn one. On top of the gas cloud, wasn't gonna get an action anyway. All right, and then we got Darth Vader here. Do a soft one. Focus and not spending it looks like to link into anything else. Okay. So we got another Vader here. He looks like he is. Couldn't tell from the dial. Straight three. All right, just getting out. He is going to spend an afterburner's charge to do a boost after, after moving. Very nice. step he's going to take the target lock and then he's going to spend a force to take a focus there you go i was going to say wow he's so generous yeah <laughs> right <coughs> and fell hard turn two Focus, eh? Not in the bullseye. So fell with four dice. No predator. Two hits. Wow, and Vader just blanks right out. And spending the focus for four hits. Oh, 
Oh, and Duchess takes three more. Oh, Duchess. No, you fire controlled it, and then, yeah, you spent the focus instead. Yeah. Yeah, one was getting through no matter what. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, it was Duchess. <laughs> Turning up. Yeah. yeah, exactly, right? So, hit, crit, crit. Yikes. But it is Soon Fell who just loves those hits from... Through the gas cloud, auto thrusters turn up. Oh, gas clouds, I love and hate you. They should have some sort of penalty to them. Yeah. They do, you lose an action. Then. Exactly, exactly. It's your only blank results, so. Oh yes, the four. All right, folks, I'm going to do the first of the raffle draws of the weekend. Woo! Raffle ticket 480964 is going to get this OKR multi-case tray. That was 480964. Ah, dice everywhere. That was my exact thing except for the last two numbers. So close. Most of them are going to be four six zero. So that was two of eights. Something. Or eight something. They all gonna be close to that. Ooh boy. Andrew got his one dial down already. This has got Sean ahead now by 92 points. He's got half on the Vader. He's got Duchess removed and has lost almost nothing himself. Actually, you haven't taken any hits yet at all, have you? Wow.
X-Wing, 30 minutes. Natural asteroid drift, it's fine. <laughs> Seven Sister doing a hard turn out again. Really does not want to engage with her. Twenty-four minutes left for you, gentlemen. Measuring for the target lock. And he's going to spend a force for a focus. Turn three around. And it looks like he's going to use his second afterburner's charge. Here it comes. is simply going to target lock and then spend a force to focus. And then soon tier. Oh, it looks like he was expecting a little more movement from Vader there. I don't think this is going to cause too much of a problem for him though. Oh, he's 
getting out. Nope. So it looks like there aren't any shots from. Or I don't know if he's what he's doing for his action here. Oh, just a boost. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. Okay, so then we're uh, end of activation, beginning of engagement. Fail gets no token. <sighs> All right, so Sean's Vader is going to shoot now. Oh, homing missile. So a choice of take a damage or have your opponent roll four dice. Such a bad choice. <laughs> He's gonna take one on Vader. Especially when there's a target lock and a focus, that's a hard call. <laughs> yeah, you get to hold it, right? So, yeah. Yeah, sweep and set. Getting tight. Looks like we are dialed in. Seventh sister. Yep. He is trying to spring the trap on Vader now. And simply going to evade. Pushing Merrick up. Okay. Talon roll. Okay. Yeah, and Fell just is like, nope, I ain't sticking around. It's a trap. Yeah, 
And there you go, tell and roll. K turn, sorry, my bad. And just a forward one. And a focus. I'm a little surprised. Oh no, he's still got his target locked, so he doesn't need that. All right, so we get into combat. He says homing missile. He's gonna make him roll it. Oh boy, he's gonna re-roll the blank. And spend up for four, three hits and a crit. It's still too much. Oof. It is, it is, yeah. Getting that range three on fell, it looks like. Yeah. Gonna try and put some shots in Sean's Vader finally. One hit. And more than enough evades. Merrick! What are you playing this year? Sorry? Ah, oh, nice. One of my friends were getting together, they said since I played X-Wing last year, I should play something with them. So, <laughs> and then half of them ended up getting stuck on the on the ferry. Uh, on the ferry, yeah. Oh, Proton Rocket, what a good roll. And marksmanship. Four and a crit, or three and a crit. Oh, that's beautiful. And... Sorry, that was three and a crit, right? Yeah. And one. Oh, that could have been so much better. <laughs> yep. Don't touch me. <laughs> X-Wing players, 15 minutes. You guys have about 11 and a half.
Run, Merrick, run! Damn rights, man, I would. Invader of Bank Two. Mmm, out of them charges. So no more boost for Vader. Looks like he's going to barrel roll back if he can. Yeah, it looks like it. And he's thinking about it now. Hey, what up? Posting such hilarious memes all the fucking time. You're welcome. See, yeah. my mom is like a climate denier, and I basically just like feed her the memes you post. Oh man, it drives her nuts. I will keep them coming. Yeah, <laughs> like just drives her nuts. She, it's a whole thing. I don't know why baby you. boomers are like that. But... You know, it makes two of us. I don't understand either. Uh, it's the willful denial. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Nothing properly makes you mad. No, yeah, they're, they're like the most successful generation in history, and they hate hearing that. I know, right? I know. Like, no, no, we're not mad at you for being successful. We're mad that there's a problem now. Yeah. And like, we just want to, like, she's super mad at like Greta, right? Like, why is this oh, sixteen-year-old kid not going to school? It's like, why are you mad at a sixteen-year-old girl <laughs> in your sixties? What do you even care? Yeah, no kidding, right? Like, she's just, and also at 16, she's a sailor, speaks multiple languages, uh, has uh, mobilized millions of people. She, she doesn't need to do two she, more New Year's of school. She's doing great. Yeah, she's doing she great. University, she probably, she's a sailor already. She already yeah. has a position at the UN waiting for her the moment she is legal age. All right, we're getting into shots. Oh, boy. Shots, 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 shots. Boom, job, yeah. Oh, range like every three. Governor in the world to like like it. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Even Trudeau like, came out and was like, "Hi." And she's like, "You're not doing uh, enough job." Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hit hit crit and blank. Got it, bud. <laughs> Damn, that's brutal though, man. No, that's lethal. That's it. That's all there is to it. And boom, that is that. 7 minutes left. And a tabling we has. No, I got clock for these guys. Separate clock for those guys. Wow. Wow. Sean, I, wow, that was a clinic, buddy. Like, when I saw you turn away with Seventh Sister the, at first, I was like, is he ever going to engage with her? And the answer there was, hell no. <laughs> like, once. She's, she's like, jelly. Yeah, she's like, oh, taste me, oh. Oh, hard to get. Yeah, pretty much, right? So that was, oh man, holy cow. Sometimes it works. Those taps are, you know what? I, I, I always went looked and I was like, Seven Sister, what the fuck good is she? She got a terrible ability. You got to use both force to uh, basically crack shot, like. But she's enough of a threat that she gets focused on. Yeah. You can dangle her out a bit and be like, oh, how did I get over here? Oh, I'm so vulnerable. Nope. Yeah, exactly. It may be two force to do a crack shot. But she's got two force to do other things. But she can crack shot every other turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. If you ignore her. If, if that's all she does is spend her force for crack shots, she can crack shot every other turn. Suddenly, that's it's bad enough. not so at any range. Yeah. Oh, yeah, at any range. That's the other thing. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly, it's not so bad. But yeah. And you don't have to have bullseye. Yeah. No, you, which is even you better. Don't yeah. Need bullseye. You just have to spend. So, two fours and it's for you for that to happen. But she has two fours, so she's really hard to kill. Yeah. Yeah. So she, can, she can still, like, barrel roll out and still have, like, do all of her actions and still be like, oh, look, I've still got two fours. Shoot me. <laughs> yeah. Damn! Those engagements did not go your way very much, did they? 
I think I think a part of that was dice, and a part of that just like bad engagements. So it's a thing. It's a thing. Honestly, I I would have flown that very much the way you would have flown that, and I think it probably would have turned out very much the same. So. All right, guys, um, that is round three in the bag. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments in the dibbly-doo down below, and we will see you in just a little bit with round four.